Let's pray for God's will to come forth in our life. First, let's start with some scripture. Matthew 6, tells us that we need to seek ye first the kingdom of God for his righteousness and all things will be added unto us. But scripture also tells us in Jeremiah 29, 11, that the plans that God has for us is to help us, not to harm us, to give us hope in the future. But it also tells us in scripture that God, in Ephesians 3, 20, that God has the ability to do exceedingly abundantly above anything we could ever ask, think, or imagine. And also in Romans 8, 28, it says that all things are together for the good of those who love God and are called according to his purpose um scripture also tells us that his thoughts are higher his ways are higher and our smartest thought is basically god's dumbest thought and basically god has a plan for your life he has not made no mistake all things are working together for your good he has amazing things things that you cannot even fathom nor think and plan and in store for you and it's time for that we go after those things and we grab it by the reins and this prayer is going to knock us into alignment and call forth god's plan and purpose his spirit to come and breathe fresh wind over our flesh and get that baby back behind us so that we can go ahead and get to the promise that god has for us all right so let's go ahead and pray father god i just thank you for my brother and my sister on the other side of the screen, God, I even thank you for the, my life, the life that you have gifted me with. God, I thank you that you make no mistakes when it comes to giving life. I thank you that you make no mistakes when you before you formed us and you placed us in our mother's womb, that you had a very specific plan, a very specific identity for us. Hallelujah, God. I thank you that you made no mistakes in that. I thank you that you have um, thoughts that we can't even fathom, grandiose thoughts about the plans for our lives lives and how uniquely um, uncomparable they are to anyone else who is living currently. God, I thank you that you are a God that doesn't do the same thing over and over again. I thank you that you are a God who is always looking for new, new ways to show your, your glory, new ways for your presence to be made known, new stories to write and to be told to be, um, to be a form of a, a, a hope deliverer, a God, to your your children that you are going to bring forth or, or rise up in seasons to come. So God, I, I, I thank you that I have to be who you call me to be. I thank you that my friend on the other side of the screen who's under the sound of my voice right now, I thank you that they have to be who you called them to be, God. They have to be because, God, you saw fit that they are the solution to a problem that currently exists in this earth. And so whatever lie, whatever um, of the, whatever thing of the past tries to convince them or tell them that they're not good enough, that they're behind, that they don't have the skills, that they don't have the education, that they don't have the resources, that they can't be consistent, that they're lazy, that <clears throat> they lack discipline, that they, no one in their family has ever done it. God, whatever the lies that try to bog them down they don't have the time they don't have the ability god that that none of that matters to you because you are a god who knew all the things you are a god who is the first and the last beginning and and alpha and omega that nothing comes as a surprise to you so god i thank you just as it tells us in Romans that creation is waiting in eager expectation for the sons and daughters of yours to be revealed that God that that eager expectation that groaning that creation is is it is expressing God waiting for them to be them waiting for her to be her waiting for him to be him God that as creation is groaning God that your daughter your son will start to feel that that burden they'll start to feel that weight on their chest that they won't be able to go to sleep and wake up the same anymore. That they'll have new desires, a new eagerness, a new excitement to do the things that you've called them to do. Whether that's start the business, whether that's launch the thing, whether that's create this new whatever. God, whatever it is that you are uniquely speaking to them about being confident about their skills, their talents, their quirkiness, the things that even... Um, give them pain, pain them so much that they want to be a solution, pain them so much that they hate to see it in other people, pain them so much that they actually want to be that change, God, that whatever it is that you'll start to personify, intensify, exaggerate those pain points within your children to so draw them nearer, to, 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 to have them come into realization that this groaning that creation has for them to be them is also within their selves, it's, on, it's inside their their heart is in their soul because their soul wants to be free so god any doubt any fleshly desire any fleshly act anything any any humanistic cycle that they've um 
even ushered their own selves into God. Anything that's become normal, that's become a comfort zone, that has become a way of doing life for them. I decree cease and assist to distractions, to every delay. I ask that you, God, the God that you are, the mighty orchestrator, the divine fixer, the divine deliverer, the healer, recompense God who can set everything into divine alignment. You, God, you you i decree and i declare that your spirit will fall fresh on every mind every heart and every soul on every eye um hands fingers time that they decide to um allocate to their daily habits and routines that it will now start to become more in alignment with your plan and your purpose hallelujah lord Hallelujah. God, that there will not be no more time wasted, no more time being lackadaisical and doing, um, being a purposeful kingdom citizen. Hallelujah. God, that they will not become lazy. They will not become lazy. We will not become lazy and being disciples. God, that I rebuke even any mindset or idea of what it looks like to be a disciple. If they feel like that looks like it has to be in the church, God, no, may they be reminded that disciples are needed in the courtrooms. Disciples are needed in the hospital rooms. Disciples are needed in uh, Supreme Court. Disciples are needed um, at the sh animal shelters. Disciples are needed um, on, on stages performing. Disciples are needed in every single industry disciples are needed everywhere so god i thank you for raising up disciples in this season i thank you for reminding them and and just creating new neural paths and neuro neuro um brain waves that create new belief systems of what it looks like to be a kingdom kid what it looks like to be so about their father's business it makes no sense god have your way and and every single last one of our lives god wreck our own um identity what we thought we had to be who we thought we had to show up as who and what our parents or society even told us who we ought to be God that we don't have to be nothing else nobody else but your kid but your child but loved by you and to know that that is enough it's not even in our actions it's not even in our doing it's not even in our performance that we're loved more by you God there's not another thing that we could do under the earth under the sun under nothing there's nothing else that we could do to be more loved or less loved by you God, because when you look at us as far as east is from the west, as far as the north is from the south, this as how far our sins are from one another. God, you see blameless, you see perfect, you see, you see Rabbi Sai beautifully and wonderfully made. Hallelujah, God. Have your way in my friend's life. Have your way in their families. I decree that this prayer goes for your children, 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 your mothers, your fathers, your grandmothers, your aunts, your uncles, your TTs, your DDs, all the things, okay? May you have love. May you be loved. May when people see you, they see the love of Christ. And may you not treat people like what you've been through because you ain't what you've been through. You what? God's doing for you. It's going to be bigger than you ever imagined. I don't know if that last phrase really mathed the way that I thought it was going to math, but the thing is, is God's doing something exceedingly abundantly above the, anything that you can ever ask, think, or imagine in your life. It's going to happen so fast. Your head is going to swim one thing on the heels of another. Count your blessings. Yeah. Yeah. You will be who God called you to be. You will. Just comment it, man. Just comment I receive it. It's done.